All right, this is a chapter eight, lesson two video. You're gonna be working with creating a new dash stroke style. And so we're gonna open up eight dash three and we're gonna save it as custom strokes. So file, save as custom strokes. All right, we're gonna open up our stroke panel and then we're gonna click the new, the options button, which is this one right here. Go to stroke styles and we're gonna click new. All right, so this is the part where it gets a little annoying, so just make sure you enter exactly what I do in there and you should be good. Okay, so we're gonna type custom dash styles the name. Right there. We're gonna set the value of the pattern length box to 0.5. Pattern length box 0.5. Okay, so you see the length automatically adjusted to 0.25. Okay, now select the value of the length text box on pot type 0.25. Okay, that's already there. So um, 0.25 half five. Okay, so it should be about what that looks like right now. Okay. The next thing you're doing is you're going to click anywhere in the white space bar space in the ruler. So anywhere in this little space. And then you're going to type 0.35 in the start. So 0.35. And then the length you're going to type 0.1. And then note the change in the preview window. Okay, you see there's like a little doodad there. Okay. Um, dum, dum, dum. Then at the change in the preview window, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so now you're going to say, okay. So that new one is now listed right here as custom dash style in our strokes styles dialog box. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do, you're going to create new custom stripe style um, and you're going to go to the type list arrow and you're going to click stripe and then select the value in the width box so we're going to go to the width doo -doo -doo, and we're going to type 50 and we're going to press tab um, drag the triangle at the 50% mark okay up until it reads 35 okay so we're going to drag this one to 35 right there. And then we're going to click anywhere in the white space between the two to add a third stripe. All right. So we're going to do the start and we're going to say 50. And then in the width, we're going to type it and do 10. Press tab. See what that looks like. And then we're going to press OK. So at this point, you should have two customs that you have created right there. And then we're going to click new again new type dotted and then we're going to in the pattern length box we're going to type one press tab okay and so looking at this preview down here this is what it's going to look like um we're going to click anywhere in the white space beneath the ruler to add another dot pattern um so right here's fine and we're going to type 0.25 in the center, 0.25, and then we're going to press tab. All right, so it should look like 2, 2, 2, 2, okay? Press OK. The next thing that we are going to do is we're going to um, say OK here. We're going to apply these stroke styles, and so we're going to get our selection tool, which I already have. You're going to click on your top one, and you're going to click custom dash style. You're going to click on your middle one and do the custom dot style. Oops, I didn't rename mine, so make sure y'all rename yours. I need to fix that. Okay, that's fixed. Also, I don't know why mom was doing that. So, 
Okay. And then we're third line. And we're going to click uh, custom. Oh, that's supposed to be stripe. Oopsie. Custom stripe. Custom dot. Okay, select all three, and we're going to change the weight to 12. And then we're going to deselect all. Click on our second one. Click the gap list arrow. And select gold. And then you are going to screenshot, and this is... Let me make sure I'm not lying to you. Yep, that's what I need for lesson two.